Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good wherever you are. I am JP here with Brizzy and Brizzy on the Block. And what do we do in Brizzy on the Block? We look at ideas on how you can create blocks and sections within Brizzy. And today we're going to look at what I call info boxes. Some people refer to them as cards, something that you can use maybe as a step-by-step -step procedure. Let's have a look at how you can do that. And what you see here is that I've got these three boxes next to each other. This is a very standard feature that we also find on many, many websites. I refer to them as info boxes somewhere along the line. I just saw them as a box with information inside. There's also a call to action because you can click here on the view more. And this is easily done within Brizzy. And will you believe it? This is done with only one element within Brizzy. Well, in each column. Let's go and edit our page with Brizzy. And let's deconstruct this first so you have an idea of what we've got here. Naturally, we've got a block and I haven't made any changes to the block. 75 pixels at the bottom and at the top, which is the default settings that it comes in with. And then we've got three columns here. And within each of these columns, we have one element. If I click on it, you will see that this element is an icon box. Right, so we have the icon box. We've applied our icon over here. We've applied, well, you can say two headings here with some paragraph text, and then we have our button here at the bottom. And then we have, of course, these columns, some spacing in between them as well. So let's see how we can do that. Let's bring in a new blank block, and then what we will do is we will duplicate. I right-click and I duplicate. You can also go here to the settings of the block and choose to add a new column or duplicate. And I think I said block, right? Should be column. Good, so here we go. Let's change the, before we make any changes, let's bring in the icon box. So add elements and you will find the icon box over here. Click and drag and drop our icon box here. So it comes in by white in my instance because it's all to do with my styling setting here currently on Brizzy default. So what we'll do, let's go to our column and then we will apply this one over here, any color that you want. Let's do a little bit of our styling to the column first. And the first thing that I will do is to apply padding. If I look at this, you will notice that because there is this space here in the icon box, that I've actually applied less padding on the left than I have on the right. So if I go to this column here, look at what I've done here. I've applied 65 pixels on the right. And then for all the others, I've applied 40 pixels around for the padding. Let's go and do that. Go to our column settings here, settings and more settings. I'll link it first and then I will just type in 40 and that will give me easily 40 all around. Now I will delink it and then for the right, I will increase that to 65. And that will give me that little bit of spacing. Going to leave the icon, of course, if you want to change the icon, just simply click on the icon. And then over here, you have all the options of these 4,000 plus icons that you can choose from. Shall we change it? Ah, come on, let's go and change it. And that brings us to one of the most difficult things when it comes to icons. Which one do I use? So most relevant is a question mark. And then over here, we are going now to work with our content. So let's triple click on that text and it will select all the text for you. And then I'm going to type in capitals, step one, enter, create account, enter. And now I will bring in some lorem ipsum text. For that, I will go for my lorem ipsum generator at lorem ipsum.io. Just grab some random text there. Let's grab this one here, or should we make it a little bit longer? Copy that and then here, in that new line that we had created, Control Command V to paste it. Mm, that's too much. Let's delete this part here. I'm just going to backspace it. Now comes the great part about working with text in Brizzy, is that you can apply different styling options to each and every level paragraph within this icon box. So let's go here to the first one. And when you click on it, we're going to leave it like that. So let's go to the next one where it says create account, click on that, then go to topography and we increase it to 18 and we're going to put it on black. No, 
We're going to put it on bold. And I think we've changed also the, let me just check here. I want to see, did I change? No, it's still on railway. So what do we have here? Let's try and recreate this. 21, medium, 1.7. Let's do the same. Click anywhere on create account. Then you go to 21. Oops, 21. And then we put it on medium, right? So there we go. Looks very similar to that. I'm going to go to step one up here, click on that, go to topography, and I'm going to reduce the line height. And that's how I'm going to bring all of these a little bit closer to each other. And then let's click here on the text. Let's just see it's at 15 medium. Let's put it on normal. Yeah, I think normal looks much better. And the line height at 1.7, that's fine by me. Size 15, let's make it 16. Hmm. Looks a little bit too big. Okay, 15. Ah, I'm convinced myself 15 it is. And then we go to here in the settings where it's gap above, and I'm going to type in 15. 15, right? We chose 15 to create that space there. Let's now change our button. Double click on the word button, and then in caps, type in, in caps, I said, uh, view more. Then go here to the setting on the left and choose next to fill, no fill. Then go here to your alignment, align it to the right. And let's change the color. Click here on text, white. And then for hover, we also choose white. We reduce it a little bit. Let's see. Good. All right. That looks like we're going somewhere. Now, all we need to do is we need to bring in that corner. So let's go to our column. Over here, column, column, and the more settings, and then here corners, dealing them, and then for the bottom corner, going to just, I think, what did I choose? Around 40. Let's put it at 40. Give it that little bit of a round corner there. All right, so this one is a little bit more narrower. The reason for that is I think I've got more text here than I have in this one. Let's duplicate it now so that we have three next to each other and we will run into a little bit of a problem. We duplicate it twice and then we delete these columns, right click, delete, right click, delete. How do we get this spacing in here? And I did that with margins. That you cannot achieve with padding. Padding will just apply space between the container and then the content. But if you want actually the containers margins or borders to go in, you will need to go for margins. So let's have a look at which margins I had applied here. Go to settings, more settings, and you will see here margin. I linked them and I applied 10 all around. Let's do the same here. Go to this one, click on it, settings and more settings. Then go to margin here and type in 10. Great. Now you have to do the same for these, but you don't have to go and do it manually. All you need to do is go to the settings, right click, copy. Then you go to this one, right click, paste styles, right click, paste styles. Right. This is looking pretty good. And that's it. Our content is a little bit different from the one up there. So it's a little bit, well, you can say smaller. If you want to add more space here at the top, let's do that. Let's go to our padding. And let's go and add padding at the top of also 65. And I wonder if we should add a little bit more at the bottom. Let's do that as well, 65. So I'm deviating a little bit from the one at the top. Uh, let's go to the top and make that 85. More space. Okay, I, I like it. I like that more space. So again, we just right click here, copy, then right click, click, paste styles, right click, paste styles. All right. Good. That's it. It's done. Now you need to go and check for tablet. Let's go to our tablet view. And what I've done up here is I've left them. It's a little bit squashed, but in my opinion, I still think it looks fine by me. So what we're going to do again is just apply that margin to the right for this one. So I'll go to this one here, settings, and then this time, I'm only going to apply the margin to the right. I'm not going to mess with it all around. So on the margin to the right, let's give it 10. It's going to push it away. And then I'm going to right click here and say copy and then paste it on the second column, paste styles. You don't need to do it for the third one. Technically speaking, the third one is now a little bit larger than the others, but 
hopefully nobody notices that. You need to apply some padding at the top. So let's do the same. We should have done that already. Let's go to the top and let's make that 20. See if that looks better. Uh, let's go for 35. I think 35 is better. And at the bottom, I'm also going to go for 20. Give it a little bit more definition. Then we go through the process again. Copy and then paste style over here. And now you have to paste style over here too, but it's going to remember the margin. So it's going to apply that margin there now too. Mm. I'm not going to make a fuss over it. Again, once you are in tablet, you have the option to break these columns onto their own lines. So though I will stick with this one, you could go ahead and do this. Drag it all the way to the right and then do the same for the others as well. And then the only thing that you need to do is you will need to apply margin. I'm going to apply the margin at the bottom. Go to settings and the margin here at the bottom. Let's say 15 to give space between that. So let's go and copy. And then we're going to go to this one and say paste styles. That's what you can do as well. So you have the option of this or this. Your choice. Let's look at it on mobile and mobile again, the same options that you have here. But in mobile's case, by default, it's going to be stacked because it just looks better stacked on top of each other. But you will need to apply some padding to it. So let's first go here into our settings for our column and apply the padding. And I'm just going to link them, then apply the padding all around. What is that? 37. So let's make that a cool 40. Do I have 40? Yes, I do. Again, you see, because of this space here, it looks like it's a little bit unbalanced. It looks like there is more white space on the left than there is on the right. It's the same padding, but because of this open space here, it looks a little bit unbalanced. So because of that, I'll delink it again, go here to the right, and I'm going to, again, put in there 65 just to push it. Yeah, you see, it looks much better. I like it like that. Let me see, do we need a little bit more at the top and the bottom? Hmm. I'm going to say no. We're going to be okay with that. Right click here, copy, and then go to this column, paste styles, go to the next column, paste styles. And there you have it. Job well done. Let's go to our tablet, have a look at it again, and desktop. Control command is to save your hard earned work and then go and preview it on the front end. <laughs> And then we bring in the big test to see how it will display on our devices. Let's go and see how it looks on an iPad. Right, this is what we've done, those two versions. And again, you can see both of them are fine. It all depends again on what you have in mind here. And then on an iPhone X. Okay, so these are the three at the bottom. You see, we've cut a little bit here of our button, a little bit too much padding but I still think we can get away with that view more. And this is the one that I made originally, which is very similar. So it works perfectly on our tablet and our mobile displays. Job well done. Hope that was useful. See you in the next video. Make sure that you subscribe to YouTube for more tutorials like this if you want more ideas on how Brezzy works and what you can do with it. And also join the Facebook community and visit us at brezzy.io.